Good day, fellow investors. I decided to start an investing stock market vlog. Most of my content is researched and then I share my research. However, there are lots of questions which I, which I can answer off the bat. I don't need to make research, I don't need to prepare. And those answers I would like to answer in a vlog. I think it will be very valuable, especially for beginning investors, because investing is more about the mindset. We can all find all the data possible today with internet, with everything. So we have, everybody has the data. Now it's important how you analyze the data and what do you get out of that data. And in this video, I want to answer such questions. How do I research stocks? What do I think about such a strategy, this, is, this and that? What's just my perception without going deep into the research and analyzing the supply demand side of stuff and so. Especially if you have off the bat questions, please put them in the comments and I'm, I'll be happy to reply. Today I want to start by answering one question that comes often, where do I find the, the stocks that I recommend? How do I go, go about finding those stocks? And that's pretty easy, so let me share it with you. If you type in company list NASDAQ, you go you get to this page. You have all the companies listed off on NASDAQ, NYSA, MX, sorted by letter, by region, by industry, so whatever you want. So if an industry is cheap, oh, let's check that industry and then you can check the company. What I usually do, I go by letter, so I check everything. So I have, I download the data, I put it in an Excel shield, I grade it, I give comments, and then here and there I find interesting companies that I research deeper. Recently researched the letter T, and there I found Treehouse that I recommended in a video a few days ago. In the letter T I found another interesting stock, and this will show you how I go about researching those stocks. So, something interesting, I saw Trivago, I know it's a growth stock, internet, online booking, very interesting company, it IPO'd last year, it spiked to above 20 and now it's below the IPO price, so that's interesting. What happened, there were downgrades, Morgan Stanley downgrades Trivago on increasing headwinds. What has happened, the management lower growth from 50% to 40%, that's terrible, should deserve to go bankrupt. Apart from the jokes, shares are down, so Again, interesting because I'm happy with 40% growth. It don't, doesn't have to be 50% for me. As always, I don't not trust the management. I want to see what are the trends. I look at Google Trends. I look at the research. Okay, Trivago is growing alongside Booking, the same as the market. Expedia, however, is declining. <laughs> That's interesting. And then I further research the company, what's doing the company, how is the business, how do they make money, what's the business model, and I find something that puts me off in this case. 46% of Trivago's revenue come from Expedia, 43% from Priceline, the owner of Booking. So it's a growth cost company, yes, but it depends on two customers. And they will try to do everything to avoid going through Trivago. They want to have direct access to customers in order to lower their costs and increase their profits. So that's something that puts me off, tells me, okay, too risky for me, too complicated. It's not an investment, it's a bet. And I don't like betting because betting implies high risk, high reward situations. So perhaps Trivago is a company for you if you like betting, but not for me. So to conclude, I simply research everything out there. I go stock by stock. So that's the way that I learn about the market. Now I learn about Trivago. I learn about other stocks. When I repeat the research process, usually two times per year, I research everything, or it's a country, I don't know, a year, two years ago, I researched all the stocks in Poland, Italy, Spain, so it's, so that's practically what I do. I go through lists, check the companies, until I found something interesting. And if I find five, six investments per year that are interesting, I'm a happy champ. For now, I have five stocks in my portfolio. I'm very, very happy owning them, and that's it. If I find the next stock, probably something will happen like it happened to UPI, and then I'll have money to buy the next stock, or I'll wait for it to become a bargain. The more I do research, the more I know, the better I understand the market. Buffett used to say that he needs five minutes to analyze a business. 
I'm not yet at five minutes, but perhaps in 10, 20 years, I'll be at five minutes to know whether something is a good investment or not. I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know if this vlog idea is something you find value. I think it's also valuable for me because it will uh, allow me to systematize my mindset, my thinking. It's not just about research data and stocks. It's about our mindset and our approach to investing. By sharing it with you, I will systemize what I think, which will help also my investing and my investment returns. Thank you for watching. Click like and I'll see you in the next video.